Well, let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude and part two of the Hasegawa 172nd scale KI-51 Sonya. All right, so the plan for this kit is to build it straight out of the box, no extras. Uh, the only thing I'm doing not out of the box is I'm going to paint the markings as opposed to using the decals. Since the decals are quite old and yellowed, and I got a funny feeling that if I try to use them, they just crumble into oblivion. So painting markings is the order of the day. I'm also not getting anything extra for it, and that includes paints. I was going to order some paints from uh, one of my current favorite uh, paint manufacturers, but I decided I didn't want to do that just for this one kit. Um, I will need Japanese uh, colors in the future, but I'm not really that concerned about it with this kit, so I'll just use what I have on hand, which will be uh, Tamiya paints. One last thing before I get started is this is not going to be a step-by-step. -step. Uh, if you watched my update video, my November 2022 update video, I explained that I think step-by-step -step builds on my channel have run their course and I'm going to try something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this and check in from time to time to discuss anything I might think is pertinent or just to give a quick update on what's going on. I did something similar recently with, uh, I believe it was the Airfix 172nd scale P51 in Tuskegee Airmen colors. And uh, that worked out pretty well because I was able to make a lot of headway, get a lot of work done on the kit in less time because I wasn't having to worry so much about every tiny aspect of the build. So with all that said, all that incessant blabbing, I'm going to get cracking. So here we go. All right, let's take a look at uh, what we got going on here. So what I think I'll do on this build is I will do a whole step, unless I run across anything weird, I will do the whole step, including paint, assembly, everything, and then just come back and talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna get cracking right here. This is the uh, cockpit, and um, start putting this thing together. All right, let's do a quick a little update here. So I've got steps one, two, and three done. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the um, the fit is really good on this kit. Uh, I mean, really, really nice. Um, I think I got it pretty well lined up, so it shouldn't be too much as far as cleanup. And then uh, repairing the panel line should be fairly easy. Um, I need to check and see if this part right here, once I sand it, I need to see if it needs to be green or black. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be green. Just not sure about this back here. I think this is supposed to be black, but uh, I'll, I'll check it out and see. But yeah, everything went together really good. You know, the, the detail inside the cockpit is very, very basic, but in a kit this size, it's not really that big a deal because uh, you can't see down in there anyway. I can, however, test fit this canopy and it actually fits pretty good. Good enough for government work. I think I might be able to make it fit a little bit better. If I try and add a little bit of curve right there to match the curve right there because right now it's just really flat or I could just fill it with some uh, like some Vallejo filler but we'll see but anyway that doesn't fit too bad uh, the windows you know these side windows I didn't do those I don't know I mean I'm sure it's like an optional deal since these are you know molded in place and I'm thinking maybe for reconnaissance type aircraft it would have those as well as this one in the in the bottom of the wing 
I'm giving the one with bombs, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. So I'm just not gonna mess with it. So basically I have well and now that I have the wings glued together, I basically have steps one through four complete. So I can move on to step five which is the stuff underneath i also need to put the cowling together so i think i'll i think i'll work on that and get that done but so far so good <clears throat> all right another quick update on this thing so i got the two cow halves together sanded those down Rescribed what I needed to here and here. Now, at first, I thought the scribing was going to be a lot more of pain, a lot more of a pain, because the the panel lines, the recessed detail on this is very, very light. However, it is very. It's deceptive actually now there's two things at play here number one by being very careful in lining up the the seams whenever I glued this stuff by doing that um, I minimized the amount of sanding that had to be done and by keeping it light um, I was able to somewhat preserve the recessed detail so rescribing it to get it you know a little more even looking it's quite easy so I'm ready to glue the engine I need to glue this on first but uh, yeah it is looking pretty dandy I must say so I need to glue this on and that fits real nicely it's got enough wiggle room that I can line it up just right so then here's the really cool thing is the wings fit very very well they snap into place and they're the the wing root seam is stellar very very uh very shallow or a very fine I should say and it just looks really really good so gotta say number one I can kind of see the attraction of 172nd scale aircraft because of uh, um, the size and especially these kits here, man, it's, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be because I've heard a lot of positive stuff about um, the Hasegawa kits, even these old ones. And I have to say, I am duly impressed. So I'm going to start gluing this other stuff together and assembly should be pretty close to being done here real soon all right just a little quickie here i got the um except for these two little spots right here i've got my uh canopy slash windscreen all masked and i just made my own out of mia tape cut in various sizes and curves all by eye not that difficult so if you don't have uh, masks for your kits they're really not that hard to do so now I'm letting some I had a little bit of a ghost seam show up right here so I used some uh, sprue goo <clears throat> which is for those who don't know is uh, to me, extra thin um, with some just cut up 
in this case gray sprue. Chop it up in little bits, pour it in there, let it dissolve, stir it up, get it to a consistency you like, and uh, works as a good filler. And that's what I've done here. But I have to let it cure really well before I try and sand it. So I think while that is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and glue these wings on the bottom here. And then uh, start gluing the parts on the bottom of this. Now, um, I got to say, this stuff is really, really fitting together well. So I always do this at the end of my uh, videos, but I would definitely recommend this uh i would definitely recommend this kit and if you get a chance to build one i would say go for it because it's been really really easy this uh as a matter of fact my chum jim deck i shot him a message <clears throat> and a photo of this and i said uh something along the lines of edward has weekend edition kits which are uh, single marking, no extras that you could supposedly build in a weekend. <clears throat> this I would call a 24 hour kit, a day kit instead of a weekend kit because I really think a person could get this thing assembled and painted and decaled and everything in a single day there's not a whole lot of faffing about that has to be done everything fits at least so far and uh just really uh really quick enjoyable build so i'm gonna let that dry there i'm gonna glue the wings on then i'm going to glue the bomb racks on i won't glue the bombs on yet but i'll get the bomb racks glued on and uh then I start thinking about doing some primer over the whole thing. Okay, so here is where it sits. Um, I've got the primary assembly done. And now I can start thinking about uh, primer. I uh, hit this up with primer here to make sure everything was okay. Got a little bit of a dent right there I think I need to fix but other than that all the seams look good I was able to rescribe the uh, leading um, edge of the wings installed the um, landing gear installed a couple more small parts um, got the prop primed and to prime that I used the uh, SMS surfacer black very very nice so got this all um, masked off so I think I'm ready for primer on the whole thing so I think I'll end this video here um, hope you enjoyed following along on these truncated uh, version of my videos let me know what you think of the uh, you know the way I did this video in comparison to my other ones if you watch my other ones or have in the past and uh, just you know let me know what you think so that ends part two of the Hasegawa 172nd scale KI 51 Sonia so as always if you have any questions hints tips concerns experience with this kit or just want to blab put some comments in the comments section down below if you haven't subscribed you feel like it hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along with this build and others maybe hit the notifications so you know when they get posted so that's it for now thanks for watching plastic models by regular dude and i will see you all later